I'm Jo Frost, and it's true, I'm back. And I'm traveling across America helping families who desperately need my help. I've been in the parental arena for three decades, and the advice and techniques that I give to families come from experience. It's going to be hard work, but it's always worth it. We are in Churchville, Maryland. I'm off to help the Davis family. Christy and Deramid have three young girls, and they are quite rambunctious young ladies. <coughs> the whole family are very heated and hostile towards one another. Get out of her room now! <laughs> a lot of aggression, a lot of kicking doors. A lot of yelling and shouting. You are taking a nap. Yeah! That's what happens My name is Christy Davis. My name is uh, Dharma Davis. We met on a motorcycle ride. My neighbor said, my friend Dee will let you ride on his bike. After that, we started talking. Now we're 10 years later and three kids later. <laughs> Mackenzie is seven. Oh. She's very dramatic and very loving and caring. <laughs> Karina's second born. Karina's a spitfire. Karina, open the door now. She's a handful. Karina <laughs> Jess, you do not lock us out of the house. Okay. Madeline is, of course, the baby. We haven't learned her traits yet. Madeline and Kylie, no. Our parenting styles are completely different. Bedtime. I'm the strict one. He's more laid back. Mackenzie! She gets upset pretty quickly. I wish she could have a lighter temper like I do. I'm constantly yelling at the kids and he'll like go off and do a chore. And I feel like I'm slowly losing my sanity. You just farted in my face. I didn't mean to. <laughs> You're gonna ruin her shirt. Karina's gotten more aggressive, I feel. It's hard not to question your parenting. Karina, your butt needs to be on that stool now. Mom, I hate you. We got to address this and figure out where it's coming from to kind of nip it now. Why is she still young? Get in bed now. Get in the bed now. Sit your butt down in the bed now. Go to your room. I want our family to have more fun together and not constantly be yelling. So I just really need Joe to find an approach that actually works. Today's my first day observing the family, assessing everything, and identifying where the real issues lie. Do you want to meet Miss Nanny? Yeah. No. Why not? I'm nervous. You're nervous? Honey, I've got a spray. Don't move. Cold. You asked for ponytails. I tried to do braids, and you could lay down, but you didn't want them. Getting a little uh, nervous. But uh, I think it'll be great in the long run, because for somebody to come out and be honest about what they see and what we need to change is what we need. She's coming to the door. Okay, she's coming to the door. Can you? Hello. Hello. Is May I coming? come in? Thank you. Are Hi. you Karina? Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Hi, I'm Christy. Let me meet you. She's not letting go of that hat there. She's really excited. Darn. Very nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Jojo. Hi, pleasure to meet you. Are you enjoying your book? Are you a little one asleep? Yeah. I'm yeah. asleep, yeah. All right, let's do some work. I am going to hang out today and watch and ask questions if need be. What I really need you to do is just do what you do every other day. OK. You girls go play in the front room, and I will make you lunch. Y'all done reading? Mm -hmm. OK. I'm a little scared for Joe to kind of fully assess everything. I know that what we're doing with parenting is bad, but then, like, it just it makes you feel stupid when she's sitting there watching you. Jelly sandwich. Apples. You going to eat? Eat. <laughs> do you want to eat now, or do you want to eat after nap? Okay. Give me an answer. One, two, three, four, five. OK, nap time. Mm -hmm. Let's go upstairs. Come in. Are you lay down? You're going to take a nap, right? I want my 
here. Here's a cat. See you in a little bit. She's out of her bed already. He's just like, well, whenever she gets to bed, she gets to bed. As long as she's not like in the bathroom playing with water, he doesn't really care. Whereas I'm like, no, she needs sleep. So I think that's our difference in opinion there. On. Straight away, I'm feeling that mum and dad seem at odds with one another. They don't seem to be on the same page. Oh, Madeline. Hi. Say hi. Can you say hi? hi? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna go get her. Can I say hi? No. You want to eat? No, ma'am. Now I'm gonna take the cat. Just lay down. I want to see it. Go lay down. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Get in the bed. So mum uses one, two, three as a method for the kids to listen, which is not effective. And she needs to adopt another technique. And not playing games. I see you frustrated with the kids, but I don't see you very happy with what's going on. With no. The down there. I, I mean, mean, I feel like he just like takes a back seat and like I'm the one that takes charge and he supports me, seemingly, but it's, I feel like I'll sit there and scream at the kid and he'll just like sit there. I take things a lot more seriously than he does. Like he thinks, oh, it's no big deal. And so I feel like I'm disciplining, you know, 75% of my time. We parent two different ways all the time. Sometimes I might give an opinion, she doesn't like it. Well, you asked my opinion, I gave you my opinion. I'll tell him flat out, like I'm upset with you or I hold this against you, whatever, but he won't tell me. I kind of just blocked her out. She sees it as like, I don't care. I'm diffused, I'm just walking away from the situation. I don't care about what's going on at the moment. Right. And then I feel like I'm being ignored. And then I take it out of my kids. And that's what I need to work on, but it's... Yeah. When mom gets angry and frustrated, she starts to yell and shout and get very aggressive. And Daramid then starts to retreat and pull back and the kids are witness to this. And they start to mimic the same behavior when they have the same emotions. Did you have a good nap? Karina. Karina, no. Should you be skipping in the house, Karina? Okay, we're not gonna sit here and play with the door. Hey. Karina. I guess we're gonna have a timeout then. Yes, yes. ma'am. That's three. Yep. Go sit in timeout. Set a timer for four minutes. Don't move. Four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the perfect execution of how not to do a timeout. No clear communication, no warning, no explanation, no coming down to a child's level. OK, Karina. All right, timer's up. Yep. If you do have to go to a consequence, do the application correctly. Do you know why you was putting timeout? Why? Because. Okay. I think you can play now. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mackenzie. Yeah. Come and sit down with me. Mackenzie. Does Karina make a lot of tantrums in the house? Hmm. Mm. Just. Oh, she gets rude. Mm. Like she gets angry at people who take her thing and then she just starts burning. Well, that's not nice, is it? Mackenzie is feeling at a loss with Karina's behaviour. I do want to nip this behaviour right in the bud now. Thank you for talking to me. Welcome. Tell me about how Karina behaves with her sisters. She'll like grab their faces and grab their arms and she's touching them. She doesn't have like an idea of personal space, even though I've tried to explain that to her. Yeah. But it's just worrisome. I don't know how to address it. Like, I'll ask her how to do nice touches and she'll show me, and then two seconds later, she'll be dragging Maddie or trying to pick her up, like, by her neck. Like, yeah. she, like she doesn't get it. And I don't know how to make that click. 
I've seen Mum's behaviour because I've watched the footage. But, you know, she's also told me about how she behaves when she gets angry and frustrated. Karina copies the behaviour that she sees from her own mum. All right, good, we're going to address this. Be careful how you behave in front of your kids because they copy you. Today is parental consultation. I certainly know that they have different parenting styles. It's really polarising. I'm nervous for today. I'm thankful that she's here and I'm looking forward to seeing what she'll do today. I'm just a little scared. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi. Tired? Yes. Yeah. Yesterday was a big day as far as me being able to assess the situation. Why don't we go outside and talk about it, yeah? Okay. I know that in order for them to get through the challenges that they have with their own children, they've got to be together as a couple. I'm going to ask you both to dig really hard because really that's what it's going to take. Because right now, what's been set up is a lot of negative behaviour, habitual behaviour, and that needs to change. Does that make sense to you both? Yeah. Because I'm looking at two parents who are really unhappy. When you don't feel heard or when you are feeling overwhelmed, your behaviour is hostile. It's aggressive. And then what you do is run away from that. That gives you control. You now have this push and pull and look at the damage that it's doing to the relationship. Yeah, you see that? Now your girls are going to be raised in that environment. My concern now is Karina. When she's unhappy with something or she can't get her own way, then maybe what you've taught her is how to explode. And Mackenzie is at the brunt of that. I don't think you realise the impact that it's making on her. So we need to stop that. She needs to see by example better from you, Christine. At some point, you've got to be able to look at yourselves and change the way that you've been so used to behaving so that you are leading by example to show your children what a loving, healthy family environment is. I mean, I definitely have to take accountability for my anger and yelling and saying like hurtful things to him. I, I shouldn't do what I do and run and flee. That just doesn't help the situation because then you just think I'm just completely ignoring you and don't care what you're saying. I do, but I just know at that point, if I was to say something, which has happened a couple of times, then we're both just picking at each other right back and forth, and it, it, it goes nowhere. Do you want this? Yeah, I do. You love your wife? Yeah, I do. You love your husband? Yes. Then you both got to do the work. When we look at your parenting skills, you've got to work together on the same team. Yesterday, Dee, you gave Karina a stuffed kitty to try to get her off to sleep, and then, Christy, you came right in and took it away. So you end up being each other's worst enemy because you undermine each other, trying to deal with it separately rather than together. Right. And as a team, you can persevere by pushing through in finding solution. Moving forward when trying to get the girls to sleep, I want to see you working better together. We need to be able to be on the same page and that won't work until we're working together as a team. Let's work on how we will come to a compromise, all right? A lot of work to be done. Yes. A lot of work, all right? Truth of the matter is, though, if you want it bad enough, you're going to do it, you're going to find it. She had everything on nose. I'm very prepared to move forward with everything and get things in line with each other, me and Christy, so we're working together as a team. And then we have a much happier, well-rounded family, right? Yes. All right. I'm ready for the change. Hi, Karina. Your puppy. Oh, thank you very much. What's your puppy's name? Alex. <laughs> Let's do some basics here. Yesterday, I did notice the use of this one, two, three, and the timeout as well. It's not effective, and it's important to be able to correct them on why some of those techniques haven't been working. When the kids were messing up and you were just saying, look, you shouldn't be doing that, you'd then go one, two, three, 
Right, OK, yeah. in time out. If you're doing a consequence, you've got to give a child an opportunity to make a better decision. So if they are doing something that you'd rather they not, going up to them and in a very casual conversation saying, I'd rather you not do that, please, because of X, Y and Z, and then seeing that they're messing around a bit, and then you actually go up to them and give them a warning very firmly with eye contact coming down to their level to let them know that you do want this to stop. Now, if they still chose to do what you'd asked them to stop doing, then you could remove privilege or they could go to bed early. Here's how one, two, three does work. Mm -hmm. When you are bringing your child to a place of having to make decisions, because children need to learn to make decisions, right. you can have this one or this one, and you go, you need to make your mind up by the time I count to three. One. This one. And that's how your one, two, three works. Now that both parents know how to use my techniques correctly, I want to see them do so. Make sense? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Karina, you need to eat. Once you get done, you can get down and play. Dad, how much does Karina need to eat before she can get down? Four bites. OK, so step up. Come on. Let me see you do this. Four bites and you're done. Tell her to look at you and talk to her assertively. <laughs> if you want her to respect you as her father, then you've got to stop this messing around here. Sit. You need to sit in the chair the right way. She doesn't eat those four pieces. She's going straight up to bed. Look here. If you don't eat the four bites... Oh, excuse me, I don't hear no assertiveness. Karina. I don't hear no authority. Karina, you need to eat the four bites that I cut on your plate for you. If you don't eat them, you're going to need to go upstairs and go to bed, OK? So, walk away. It's going to be her choice. She's either going to do it or she's not. OK, Mum, you're going to back up and you're going to say, what did Dad tell you? What did Dad tell you? What did Daddy say? As soon as you were assertive, what happened? She went straight to Mum. Because the wedge is that wide. Oh, if I can't get it from you, I'm going to go here. And then guess what she does? She waits for Mum to come in and control the situation, which undermines Dad and his authority. But where you don't step up enough, Mum feels she's got to step in because you're not being assertive enough. When Joe said it, I was like, thank God, because these are the same things I fight with him about, and I'm tired of always being the one that's yelling and, you know, being the mean mom. You need to listen to what Daddy tells you. Eat your four bites. So it was kind of relieving, actually, to stay out of it, knowing that he was just dealing with it and I didn't have to. Where's the assertive tone? I don't know. Just don't know. Don't bring it out. If you don't step up and give these kids what they need, Mum gets annoyed because she's sitting there watching you do that. You've got to change up that tongue. Listen, you need to sit here and eat. If you choose not to, you're going to go to bed. Come away. She's either going to do it or she's not. Simple as that. Her decision. Night, Karina. See you in the morning. Come on. You made your decision. Big bed. Come on. I see where my issues are to where I need to address them and be more served to my kids and let them know that when I say something that it needs to be done then and not leisurely done when they feel like it. Good night, Karina. Chris, you shouldn't Maddie be in bed? I try to put her down, but when she was crying, I always put Good. her down when she's asleep. To Maddie's asleep? Mm-hmm. I nurse her to sleep and then I put her down. Ooh, yeah. look, that's a bad habit. So I do the CTCT -CT technique, all right? Controlled time crying technique. Go in, shh, night, night, darling, kiss her, put her into her bed. Mm -hmm. You come out, and then if the child cries, you leave it for two minutes, then you go in, look at the bridge of her nose, shh, put your hand on her tummy, mm -hmm. shh, come out, double the time. Okay. Four minutes, eight minutes, 16, 32. Okay. It's as simple as that for her. The idea of this technique is to help your child to self-soothe without them feeling neglected or abandoned. Eventually, they'll settle themselves off to sleep knowing that you're there. Another teach day for this family. I am ready to get working. 
I want to make sure that Dad understands the importance of our conversation last night in being more assertive and more involved with these children. Alexa, what's on my calendar for today? Today, there are three events remaining. At 4.30 p.m., there's Mackenzie soccer. At 5.30 p.m., there's Karina ballet. And at 6.30 p.m., there's dinner. I left him a little bit strained last night. Did you go to bed without eating last night? Yeah. Why? Because he wasn't listening. Because you weren't listening. Are you going to listen tonight and eat your yes. dinner? Yes. OK. Today, I've got more up my sleeve with respect to some techniques that will just keep them moving forward. Hello. Hello. Say hi. Oh, yeah. Can I say hi, Angel? Hi. Hi, Mackenzie. Do you like pizza? So, oh, is that for me? Thank you very much. I think I will. Thank is that good? Much. Do you eat broccoli? Yes. Good. What other vegetables do you eat? Uh, blueberries. That's fruit. And hot dogs. Mm. I can't do it. Let's get the kids outside. Let them run wild. Let's go outside. <laughs> I want the kids to go outside and play and enjoy themselves, but looked after by Dad. Are you having fun? Yeah. Because I just want to see how he interacts with the girls and to see exactly what these girls get away with when they are in their dad's company. Dad. OK. <laughs> Do you normally leave the kids out here to play on their own? Most of the time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kenzie, you gotta be careful, okay? So, what really shouldn't they be doing? Because um, that will happen again. Shouldn't be two people on the side at once. All right, so let them know that. Bring okay. them to your attention so that they can listen and just let them know because that cannot happen because yeah. of that safety issue. Girls, listen. Just look at me. Wait, wait, wait. Karina's not paying Karina. attention, so you need to bring her down. Karina, come here. Come here. Slide down. I just need you to come here, now. Go, go, yes. Oh, hey, you. Karina, come on down. Karina, come here. <laughs> right, listen, I'm trying to tell you something for your safety, okay? One person on the slide at a time. Is that understood? There's no eye contact at look, all. Stop. To show that she's even look, listening. Look, look at Daddy. She's occupied with look dolls. At look at Remember that. Have my dolls. You can have all your dolls back. Dad, I need I need focus. It's got to be short, sweet. Okay. All right, let's just do that again, please. <laughs> Exercise your assertiveness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Karina, look at me. Look at Daddy. One person on the slide at a time for your safety, OK, so you don't get hurt. Yes, sir. OK, good. That was much better. When you finished, she automatically Wait, said, yes, Daddy, so she acknowledged. Okay. But if she doesn't, then make sure that she can acknowledge that she's understood what you said. OK. All right. Dad, he definitely needs to keep being put in this position of actually taking care of his own children. And I really think with the practice, he will get better and become more assertive. Remember, girls, one person on side at a time. Right now it's bedtime and this is where the Davis family have really struggled. Talk to each other, communicate, tag team, OK? I'm going to let you do that. I want to okay. see you do it, okay. all right? Remember, no technology, right. ambience, lighting, right. blinds down, okay. set the mood, OK? One of Mum and Dad's biggest issues is bedtime. So tonight is going to be the perfect opportunity for Mum and Dad to come together and get this bedtime down and for Christy to do the CTCT technique so she can get little Maddie down to sleep without any fuss. Let's go get in the tub. Come on, Maddie Cakes. You want to take a bath? All right, let's get this done. Can you get Maddie's towel out of her room? Yeah. Washcloth. Daddy's talking to you. Give him washcloth. your washcloth. You're sitting on your washcloth. I know. I know. You don't like to get out. Sit here. Here's next, OK? So Mom's just feeding the little one, getting her ready for bed. I know that Christy's going to be really surprised at how quickly it will take to get Maddie off to sleep with the CTCT -CT technique. All she's got to do is kiss Maddie goodnight, come out of the room, and let her cry for a couple of minutes. Children were inside, ran outside, very happy. 
and then you go in and place your hand firmly on their tummy and just make the soothing noise of shh and then come back out again. You have quiet time here while I say goodnight to Karina, okay? You read a book. And then before you know it, Maddie will go off to sleep. The night before the bell rang, two friends. Little Maddie's gone off to bed. Mum's following through with the CTCT sleep technique. We have Karina and Mackenzie now in their beds after bath time. I have to tell you, so far, they've done a really good job. A really good job together. Oh, it was amazing. Kids in bed? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's a high five for you two, because you did a good thing. job. Look what you guys can do when you work together. Big difference. Yeah. Huge. You should be proud of yourselves. Yeah. You guys did that. Stop crying. Uh, I didn't even hear it, because I, like, tuned it out. The more you're consistent, the more you teach them this is predictable, it's safe, this is routine, it's a bedtime ritual. Well done, the pair of you. I feel like we actually had results today. We weren't screaming at each other like we usually are. We both felt supported, supported by each, each other. other. Great day. Yes. Great day. Great day. Have a good evening, yeah, and I'll too. see you tomorrow. OK. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. I have something set up for you both outside. Let's go outside. <laughs> Karina, get your shoes on. I got together with the team and made an obstacle course for you. You go down into the ditch and then you go over the plank, climb up the rock wall. Mama spent many months overwhelmed and yelling. So today it's about turning over a new leaf. Shoot! To see mum having fun and encouraging the children and just joining in with the play. You ready? On your marks. Get set. Go! Go! Good job, Karina. Come on. Wrong way, Karina. Do the. <laughs> Come on, go Mackenzie. Up the, go up the stairs. Go, Mackenzie. Mackenzie, you got it. Down you go. You got it. Good job. I want to have like a good relationship with my girls. One, two, three. But I think I just had one level. I was just always yelling. And so they really just learned to tune me out. Go, go, she go! Go! Got it! Yeah! Uh, and I'm realizing that it's not what I'm saying to them, it's exactly how I'm saying it. Now kick the ball. Get it in the soccer goal. Yay, goal! You got it. I love how Manny Joe is helping my family. We're happier now that she's here. What, you cutting up? what if she like makes Mackenzie fall on her head? See, she's a brute. She's so little, but she's throwing her off the swing right now. And now Karina, see, there's the bully coming out of her. Oh, and then she laughs in her face. This behavior is not okay. See, there's the bully coming out of her. Do we just discipline Karina? I don't want her taking things no, from Now, watch me. Karina, come here, please. Come here. What did you just do over there? Not hit You pushed your sister off the swing. Is that kind or unkind? No. That's right, it's not kind. Would you like to be treated like that? No. Go and say sorry to your sister. I want to instill empathy. Yeah. So she knows that being kind leads to, you know, behavior where you have friends and people want to play. Come with me, come with me. Did you say you were sorry? Did you do the right thing? Sorry. Because what did you do? You pushed her off a what? Sweet. Yeah. Come here. Nobody will want to play with you if you behave like that. So you need to be a kind girl, OK, with your behaviour. Be kind and play and have fun, OK? OK.
I know you still want to play, but dinner is almost done, okay? If we eat our food right away, then we can come back and play, okay? Karina, look at me. Mackenzie's only going to clean up half of the toys. Yeah. Look in my eyes. You're going to clean up the other half, and if you don't, she's going to leave it for you. All right, Karina, I want two piles, one with clothes and one with dolls. Got it? If you don't get the two piles done, you're going to sit in timeout. Is that understood? Let's see how quickly you can do it. She knows what to do, but she doesn't follow instruction because it's defiance. She doesn't want to do it. in timeout. That's why you can't give her a timeout for that, because it's not a timeout. It's like a Because break. she'll use it as an excuse not to do what she's supposed to do. Get so up. get her off the timeout and actually get her now. You will get your LOL no. doll back when you do what I told Come you. On. Otherwise, you will lose this toy. Your LOL will go to jail. It's just more a case of encouraging her and her listening and knowing. This is your playroom. Look you after it and put stuff back, there. love. Come I on. Would. Okay, good. Put it in there, Joy. Go ahead. It's just all drama with Karina to get herself to a place where she can exhaust Mum, hoping that Mum will behave the way she normally has in the past, and that's just give in or shout and yell at her. Karina, you need to clean up all the dolls and pick them all up and put them in the right bins. Put them in the Barbie bin, please. In the box, not on there. Come on, Karina. There's clothes under your feet. Get those boots. Here we go. You put them all in one bin. OK, good. Thank you. All right, you're doing good. You're doing good very job. good. All right, keep going. I want you to call me when it's done, OK? She's always going to give you this behavior, you know. It's how you deal with it. Mum, she did really well because Karina's a handful. It's going to be really important for mum to have patience. Yeah. What you didn't do is shout and yell, yeah. you know? And as you keep doing that, she will change. Her behaviour will change. Ready? Let's have a look. Give me five. That's what I'm talking about, OK? This is what I want you to do, OK? Play, but put away, OK? Say it with me. Say play. Put away. And put away. Give me five, you smart girl. All right, let's go and have some dinner. Children need to learn how to tidy up, how to put things away, because it actually teaches them to respect their own space, their own bedrooms, to have respect for themselves. OK, so Mummy, she did a good job. She good got job. the job done. Good job. Hey. Yeah. All right, so I'm going away for a couple of days. You've proven to yourselves that you are more than capable of being able to show up and achieve and do. So that's what I want to see. You're going to be tested tomorrow and the next day because I'm not going to be here. It'll be an awakening for doing things correctly and how things are really going to work when she's not here. Cheers, thank you. I'm leaving this family and I know that these kids may possibly test them. However, if they're consistent with how they respond, rather than react. These kids will change their behaviour. It's my return day with the family. I've been away for a couple of days. I'm looking forward to actually reviewing the footage with the family and seeing exactly how well they have done, or maybe they have found a few things tricky and they need to be able to work a little bit more on those. Are you nervous? Not yet. Why are you not nervous and I'm so nervous? Today will be interesting. I want to say thank you for helping us. Hi. How are you doing, Mackenzie? Hi, Karina. Hi, Maddie. Hi. How are you both feeling? Feeling good. Okay. So, are we ready to do a parental <laughs> review? <laughs> sort of. All right, let's take a look then. We'll go over to the dining table here. 
Do you look like you've seen a ghost? You're like... <laughs> Overall, how well do you think that you did? Um, I mean, it's worried about not following through with being assertive. Let's take a look. Look at me. We need to leave in about 30 minutes. So I need you to eat now, okay? Eat a baby piece of chicken. Good job, Karina. I like how you're eating your chicken. Good girl. I like how you eat that vegetable. Okay. Um, what I really like is you kept her really on track. No big deal, not fighting her on it. And I can tell you that you keep going with that behaviour, you won't even be talking about Karina trying to get your attention by being negative in a way to reel you in, because the change in your behaviour will certainly change hers. OK, let's move on. Both of you, clean up the room. I didn't make the mess. Look at me. It's not an option. Now, go. I'm so glad to see you're being more assertive. All right, bedtime routine. Oh, can't read in. <laughs> This crap actually works. Oh, <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> yeah, this crap actually does work, right? <laughs> and that's what happens when you work as a team. Are you scared about Annie Jo leaving? Or are you trying to miss her? I'm just scared. Oh. What are you scared about? You can't both of that adorable. Oh, so I think that's made me all emotional. I think Mackenzie is showing anxiety because I think she's worried that things will change once I've gone. They don't really understand this process, but they do know that Nanny Jo came in here, right. spoke to Mum and Dad, you're a lot calmer, and is it all going to change? Right. It's so important for you to be able to, you know, let her know that, that you've got this. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not about me. This is about you both. I came in as a teacher. Everything that you've done is because you did it. It's because you made that choice to do it. You've done extremely well. Like, really well. Proud of how far you've come so soon. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. Um... Mackenzie, there's no need for you to worry because Mummy and Daddy really, really wanted to make things better. And that's why they asked me to come to their home. But now we have to let Mummy and Daddy continue to do that good work when I'm not around as well. Which should be nice, right? Yeah. Yeah? I'll give you a hug. You little sweet. I'm going to remember Nanny Jo until I'm an old lady just like her. Definitely want to work on Dad, just bringing out a little bit of what I know is in there, hiding behind that little shell of his. I found this magical ring. So I think this is a sign from the pirates. I think that they have left this ring because what do you think they have in their ship? They have a treasure. Shall we look for the treasure? Yeah. Will you help Mackenzie and Karina find the treasure? Yes, I will. It would be nice to see him a little bit more animated with the girls and having fun with them. Let's go get the treasure. OK. Oh, we have some x-ray glasses to see where the pirates may be hiding. But... Mighty wishbone. And we have a, a unicorn tail. Makes us invisible. Let's. Let's go. D has been very assertive with the children where he's need to be. Still swimming. Swim, Karina. Swim all the way. But at the same time, I hope that the kids can see that as much as he sometimes has to tell the kids off, that he will be very fun and playful with them. OK, blow the cannons, Karina. Blow the cannons. Blow the cannons. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 you got the treasure chest? The treasure chest. <laughs> Good job. Wow, that's a fancy, fancy shell. Okay. Go to the mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. 
girls will remember this. These are the moments that are so special for them because this is you being present. You're here. And that's what you need as much as they need because it's so rewarding for you as a father. Because, I mean, look how this, look how this girl's on. Right, we gotta put the glasses. Okay, well done for just breaking out that shell a little bit and doing it. Oh, good. Good. Oh, good. Good. I was fun. pleased to see you do it. I think we both have learned a lot about ourselves and each other yeah. in addition to our children. I'm feeling great. I mean, she kept her, her voice down and stayed calm, and I can come in and not be intimidated about what may happen and not know how she's feeling. It's been assertive with the kids. I really enjoy seeing that. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, hearts too. Isn't that beautiful? I felt like our family was falling apart and we weren't connecting. And she helped me and my husband have like a partnership and teamwork. She has a big heart. And I think that is like her goal in life is to just help people. And I think that comes out in her interactions. I walked into a home where I could see that the relationship was strained between mum and dad, and there were concerns surrounding Karina's behavior. So I'm like, right there. Mm. Yes, I'm going. I'm going. That's when you know you're not needed anymore. You go confidently on to the next family that do need you. Bye-bye, darlings. Thank you. The bottom line is they did the work that was necessary, and I left them in a really good space. I love Nanny Doll. I'm going to miss her, miss her, and miss her, and miss her, and miss her, and miss her. Next time on Super Nanny. We both have two children from previous relationships. <gasps> Trying to raise two children that aren't biologically mine, it's difficult. <laughs> if something doesn't change, I am going to have a breakdown. What do you want? I just want to help them, and I'm so committed to them. It's important for you both to connect with each other's children. Look at me in the eyes, please. Excuse Jackson. me. Why are you talking? Up, please.